Hey everyone, the numbers are in for Long Beach in Panama City Beach for February of 2023. I'm Craig Duran with the Duran Group at Berkshire Hathaway Home Services. This video is going to be a little different. I want to point out a trend uh, that I haven't talked about a lot that can really help us understand though where the market may be going, where prices may be headed. Uh, check this out. So to start with, the overall go front condo market is sitting at about 5.85 months of inventory. Remember, months of inventory helps us understand the pace of things. Four or five months of inventory represents about a neutral or balanced market. Uh, so it's not much of a buyer's market, not much of a seller's market. We're sort of hovering in, in balanced market territory. Um, more on that in just a minute. Uh, we've only had three sales since the beginning of the year at Long Beach. This is organized by date. Uh, we held the seller over on this one for a three bedroom, closed at 955000 two more uh sorry another three bedroom i don't know that that's correct unless they've done something in there Six hundred twenty-five thousand, six hundred twenty-five thousand for another two bedroom uh, oh sorry that's grandview um yeah no wonder so for long beach our mls system pulls uh, throws a curveball on me occasionally so for long beach there we go only two sales, sorry, since the beginning of the year, $955,000 on a three bedroom. We, we Again, we helped that uh, those owners sell. And then one of the two bedrooms sold for six twenty five. dollars That makes more sense to me now. Um, but back to our trend I want to talk about to help us understand where pricing may be headed. And this is probably more important to understand this year than, than really the last few years. Um, every selling real estate is generally a seasonal thing. It's especially seasonable, seasonal in a place like this where, we, where the beach season is such a strong driver of things. Um, so every year, it is not unusual for us to bottom out or have the fewest amount of condos for sale this time of year. And it's also not unusual for that to creep up through the end of beach season. Um, think about what that means for just a minute. If Month over month, there are more units for sale. Buyers have more choices. And if they sense that they have more choices, they can be a little more patient. Sellers have more competition. And if you really want to sell something and next month you're not sold, but you have more competitors to sell and the next month you have more competition, you can see that that slows down the market. It cools down the market a little bit. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, look at March of 2021. We were at 0.59 and just watch the numbers for a second. And we moved up to 0 0.64, 0 0.97. By, the, by September, we were up to 3.48. If you think about it, we're more than five times slower in September than we were in March. Um, that was a little bit unique that year because 3.8, 3.48 is still a very healthy, good seller's market. So we were slowing down slightly, but it was still very, very good. Everybody felt good about life. If you were a seller, you weren't ter terribly concerned about it. March of last year, 1.09 months of inventory. We moved up to 1.82, 2.45. Interest rates started to really move up, 4.08, 7.46 by July. Seven times slower than we were, but now start to think about it. Instead of getting something done in one or two, three months, it was taking us on average five, six, seven months to sell something. It's taking that much longer. If you're a seller, a little more nervous. Well, look at where we're starting today. We're at 5.85 months of inventory. If this trend uh, follows through again this year, where do we go? And, and this is a concerning thing or something that I'm watching because we're already balanced. If we slow down at all anymore, we're entering into buyer market territory. Now, we can pop into buyer market territory and out of it here and there, and it's not going to affect pricing that much. But the longer we stay in buyer market territory, the more pressure there is generally for prices to move down. Think about why. If someone's decided they want to sell a unit, they want to sell a unit. And if they can't sell it in the third month, the fourth month, the fifth month, the sixth month, the seventh month, what are their choices going to be? So a couple of things to understand. Um, if you're thinking about selling any time this year, the fundamentals of selling something, anything, condos especially, um, are, are more front and center than they have been in a long time. A couple of years ago, even beginning of last year, I could whisper condo for sale at Long Beach and you probably had multiple offers. Now, marketing is that much more important. And for me, marketing is a couple of things. It, it's price, getting the price right and understanding where the market is and then putting a presentation together that is really, really, really exciting for potential buyers. That's the first couple steps. You have to have 
amazing photography, amazing videography, great descriptions, not just kind of, it has to be, this is a serious business. There's a lot of competition now, but you can't stop there. You can't just do that and put it onto the MLS system. Most of the buyers for the condos in Panama City Beach are coming from other markets. I've been doing this for 20 years. Most buyers are somewhere else. We have to be able to reach those people. You have to run internet ads, social ads, email marketing, Google ads, all those things. You have to know internet marketing anymore to be able to, be, to help your sellers have, help owners have a chance in a market that that's much, is that much more competitive. And think about it. If we drift into buyer market territory where it's that much more competitive, those things become that much more important. So uh, beginning of next month, I am rolling out our first quarter market update. If you have any questions um, about that between now and then, feel free to reach out to me, 850-527-0221. Um, I'm real excited about, we've got another three bedroom. We've got a three bedroom actually closing today. Um, it's going to be over $1 million and we're putting another three bedroom on the market. We just shot the video for yesterday. I'm excited to roll that out. So if you're in Long Beach, uh, look for that stuff coming pretty soon. In the meantime, again, any questions, reach out. Thanks for watching.